Hello Zebra Herd and welcome back to Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. And today we are moving on to the third chapter. Of course, in the last episode we completed the second chapter and along with it, we got ourselves a boss fight defeated with the King of Pyro Puff Peak. But now we're moving on to chapter three, the hunt for the Great Bird's Lair. And what is this gonna be? Maybe like a little cutscene? Oh, I'm gonna go back home. <laughs> no, we can't. <laughs> it's like, okay, this is scary, going home. We'll see you Toadette, good luck. Oh boy, what is this about? Oh, oh yeah, he's just camping. Oh, she had a marshmallow, maybe, you know, cook him some s'mores. Uh, maybe next time. Oh, look at that little tent. Oh, there he is! Oh, go get him! Oh, leave the tent, leave everything behind. Ah, oh, if only Toad could fly. I'd be mad too, don't worry, we'll catch him. Only a matter of time, the hunt for the great bird's lair continues as we try to find him. And level 11, Piranha Creeper Cove. This looks fun, I like beach levels, they're usually okay. I mean, some underwater levels, not so much, but in a game like this, I feel like it's gonna be fun. And so far I look correct. Oh, I love this song. Oh, can I pick up these little crabs that are walking around? No, they just hide. Hmm. Oh, I think I see the first diamond. I have to work with this guy a little bit and pick up that. Awesome, awesome stuff. So in the first episode, I slightly mentioned it, but I wanted to talk about it a little bit more today, is the fact that if you don't know, Captain Toad got his start in Super Mario 3D World, another game for the Wii U. Oh, look at all these coins. Oh, on the, on the, under the dilapidated boat right here. Very cool. So, um, yeah, it was actually just a little mini game you could find in, uh, Super Mario 3D World. Eventually, people liked it so much, they made a full version of the game. But I wonder if that means we could see, oh, that was cool, a Super Mario 3D World port make its way to the Switch at some point. Is that something you guys would like to see? Would you like to see Super Mario 3D World on the Nintendo Switch? I think that'd be really cool, because that was another really great Wii U game that I feel like not many people had the chance to play. Okay, so we gotta be careful of this guy, and then we just gotta move. Uh, I don't know if there's a way to swim faster, because you're gonna have to start learning it. Okay, we're fine. So let's, we're, we're gonna have to follow him here. Come on, 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 oh boy, I'm scared. <laughs> we made it. So we got two diamonds already. Let's move over, over here, just like that. But yeah, I think that would be a lot of fun. Super Mario 3D World is a really fun game and I definitely wanna play it soon. But I've been sort of waiting. I'm sort of expecting them to say, uh, hey, it's coming out on the Switch, you know, or something like that in the next year or two. So I'm like holding on tight, hoping that happens. Oh boy, watch out. Let's go ahead and pull that up. But what I'm getting a little confused about is how do we get over, huh? Ah, oh no, that's not what I wanted. Oh, I just fell all the way back down. I was just trying to look around. You see, this is probably a diamond in there. And you get onto it here. What I don't understand is how you get onto that area. Maybe if we kept moving, we'd find out. Because if we move this way, there's a little thing up here for some reason. So let's just go ahead and try to figure that out. Weird though, for sure, I don't know what that's about. I'm just gonna try to be careful. Can I, oh, I can make these guys retract though, which is nice. Okay, I'm gonna keep that in mind for these guys over here, because they're not fun to deal with. I don't really see too much of another way. Sort of weird. Uh, Keep you retracted, make you go away. Got it. I mean, maybe I can just get it from here? No. Can I climb up like the palm tree or something? Nope. I don't know. Weird stuff for sure, but for right now, like, ah, oh, okay, that's how. <laughs> oh, that scared me. Come on, get it, get it, get this, there it goes. Our third diamond, awesome. But I'm, what, I, what I'm really curious about is what what is this stuff about up here? Um, bunches of coins, bunches and bunches of coins. Okay, so I got that, I'm gonna make you just hide. Oh, you can take them out. Oh, how much you wanna bet that's our challenge? is to take care of all of them, like get them all taken down. I'm gonna try that, boop, got them, because I have a feeling that's what the game's gonna tell me to do anyways. But how do you get rid of the ones that are in the water then? Maybe that's not the case then. Uh, but we'll try our best. Let's move back this way. Like there's no way I'm gonna be able to get rid of the guy in the water here. Like he might be impossible. Same thing with these two. So I might have been able to get rid of all of that I could there. There's no way I can get them. Unfortunately, I don't think you can find a fire flower and just throw fireballs at guys. That'd be so cool if you could get fire toad in this game. Don't think it's gonna happen though, unfortunately. Let's plop down and go ahead and get this star. Don't see anything else we could do. At least we got over 70 coins, so it's pretty good. Yeah, okay, so awesome stuff. So there is Prana Creeper Cove done. Collect 70 coins, okay, that was it, perfect. 
<laughs> I was gonna say, at least it was over 70 coins. I guess it doesn't total up your coins, though, unfortunately, so it doesn't matter too much. Oh, we get another little bonus. Last time we had this last episode, I totally failed at it. But for right now, don't have to worry about that. I have to worry about Pixel Toad. Okay, so pretty good. Find Pixel Toad when you spot his hiding place, tap him to catch him. Let's see what we can do. But yeah, I'm glad that we actually found that one on the first try. Now it's just about where this little toad's gonna be. Luckily with this level, you actually get to look around quite a lot at practically the entire thing. I think he's gonna be behind this boat. He isn't. <laughs> he could have been though. I mean, I might wanna zoom in a little bit. Sometimes zooming in can be helpful and sometimes not so much. Hmm. Now we've seen him in some pretty crazy places. Oh, there he is on the coconut. Like we've seen him in some pretty crazy places, so hopping in and out of lava or between door or windows or something. It's like crazy stuff like that. Yeah, look at that toad. Now that's awesome. We can keep moving. Oh, we got another beach level. Looks like we unlocked a couple. Cool, let's get a little sneak peek at it all. Well, level 12, briny bowl swimming hole. Huh, so I guess you can swim in this level, just like, well, I mean, you can't really swim in any of the other levels, but you can't swim in this one either. He's like stuck to the bottom, which is a little concerning. Okay, this is really cool, but also really scary. Uh, There we go, they had, the, the Switch Pro controller is sort of like off sync with the center of the screen. So what is this? Just, this is just some coins, I'll gladly take these. That was a lot of coins, actually. Oh, and there's some more over here. So I see our first diamond, but I can't quite reach it. Don't know if that's gonna be a common thing. Okay, let's go ahead and freeze those guys while I pull this stuff up. What do we got? A diamond, yay, okay, so we got that. But I guess we can go up to the top and then fall down. Is that the idea? It looks like it. So let's go ahead and freeze these two as well. And I got this and that, awesome. Hmm. Oh, and by landing on that, it made it fall. But what about that one? Oh gosh, we're falling, we're falling! I don't know, pull this. Oh, it's gonna raise it, look at that! So cool! So let's go ahead and grab that. And uh, I need to take those yellow pipes, I never took those. Hmm, curious. Grab those, and can I break these blocks? Oh, I can, look at that, whoa! Hey, you rude dude! I don't like that. There we go, move it, move it, move it. We gotta be careful. <laughs> These guys aren't so nice. So if we go back down, oh, I could have plopped off there and gotten, you know, let's do that one real quick. And then I'll go through the yellow pipe, or maybe I need to just do the green pipe, because the yellow pipe just seems to lead over there, but I don't think it does. Like, I thought like that's sort of a little trick. What is the point of raising this, though? I don't know. Oh, because there's a green pipe under it, gotcha. Okay, the yellow pipe here must just lead there. I didn't think it would, but I don't see what else it could do, you know? So let's go ahead and grab that. I've done everything else I can sort of see at the moment. So let us go ahead and, oh, oh, come on. There we go. Get these coins, and I guess finish up this level. I don't know what the thing was supposed to be. Look at Tiny Toad, he's so cute. <laughs> it looks like a little baby toad. Find that he didn't go in mushroom again. These are so tough. So we gotta go back in. I gotta find myself a hidden mushroom of goldenness, wherever that might be. Where could it have been? I mean, maybe I just wanna poke around a little bit before I make anything fall. Right now I'm finding a whole bunch of nothing. It had to be something with this yellow pipe, right? Oh, that gives me some coins. But not really much besides that. This level isn't very large. So it must be something with this, where I can raise that and probably under that is the thing. So let's try to get that one then. That's the only thing I can really see from the top or bottom of this. Oh gosh, leave me alone. So we're gonna go ahead and do this and then just land down like that and sort of check under this thing. Uh, Whole bunch of nothing. Well, there might be something, uh, I don't think so though. I don't know if there's any way to make it fall Again? That is so tricky. Hmm. I have no clue where it could be. There's not much room, you know, for it to be any much any other place. If I could get that one, maybe? Huh. This is quite the pickle. Let me go this way. 
We'll fall down here. Yeah, I really don't see it. Well, actually, maybe it's, no, it's not up here. Weird. Okay, so let's go ahead and activate this one. And obviously it does that. But that doesn't do too much for me is the thing. This is so weird, where is this golden mushroom at? <laughs> this is a tricky one for sure. And this one also doesn't have a bottom. Oh gosh, didn't really mean to go into this pipe. So where in the world is that golden mushroom? There aren't many other places it could be. Oh wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Why is it just gold, golden over here? Look at that baloney. <laughs> I just walked over here and it started glowing gold. Oh, I don't like that because there was no, it did not look like it was glowing gold before I walked over. But hey, we got it. So now I just gotta go through the level one more time and get ourselves a pixel toad. I don't think that's gonna be so bad. Once again, this is another level where you can see the entire level in like one camera pan, which is always nice. But we'll try it out. We'll see what ends up happening and we'll have a good time, hopefully. <laughs> Some of these are quite the challenge, but they're all really, really fun. So let's go back in and find that pixel toad. Okay, so I have a feeling it's probably gonna be under something. But before I try, I just wanna go ahead and look through everything. Just try to figure it out. Maybe he's on another coconut. Maybe he's not. You never know until you look. Okay, so so far I don't see him. Just trying to look wherever my uh, pointer is. Hmm. Yeah, I don't quite see him just yet. So, I think we can actually, you know, start moving around and try to take out some stuff, you know, maybe move some stuff here or there. Like if I can move that upwards, it's probably maybe even on the underside of that like we were looking for for the uh, golden mushroom. You never know. So, that's what I'm looking for. And I don't hear him yet, which is another good signifier that you're getting close. So, you gotta look for that kind of stuff. But for now, we're gonna fall down like this. We're gonna give another little look around. I don't see the little dude. Raise, oh, there he is. See, that's what I meant. We got him. <laughs> it brings them up here, I guess, weird. But uh, there we go, there's a pixel toad for level 12. Yay. And we're gonna move on to level 13, Turnip Cannon Jungle. It looks like like fun. Uh, I don't know too much about what's gonna go on, of course, but we got a whole bunch of these guys again. Oh boy, ready? Bloop, gotcha. Definitely gonna try to get rid of those guys as much as possible, that might be a little quest. The star is already right here. The problem is we have no way to really get to it truly. There's a diamond, sort of in a weird spot. I wonder how you get to that. But my goal will be to get rid of these guys as much as possible, these little uh, piranha plant things. Okay, so I gotta be careful about this, because I don't know what's going on with you. But if I pull this little lever, what's gonna happen? Whoa, look at this! What if I just launch, oh, I can launch turnips at people. There we go, perfect. All right, got some turnip launching action going on. Got it, got it. So can I just launch this at the star with that win? No, okay, glad it didn't work that way, because I would've had to redo the level anyways. What is that up there? Oh, look at that! Sneaky little question block. Whoa, here comes the mushroom. Okay, let's make sure we get that because I, I would really like to use the mushroom. Got it, one up. Have seven lives now. Let's look around for anything more in the sky. Or even down below this way, just in the endless void. This reminds me of Mario Odyssey when we're looking for the taxi in the sky. Okay, so we have found one of the diamonds, but what about the rest of them? I mean, I can bust that. What about the rest of everything else? Weird, um, I'll try to find what I can. But so far this is rather tricky, because I can only go up ledges that have ladders, so I can go up like that, and I can bust some of that stuff. What do we got here? Ooh, that's a diamond. Okay, that makes it a bit easier. Then if we move back this way, we got a little purple pipe, and on the other side we have Oh hey, you get back here, you get back here, gotcha. There we go, quite easy. So let me make sure I get all these coins as well, because you never know what I might end up needing for the challenge, it might be to get 50 coins, so we can just make sure we get every single one, that'd be perfect. Okay, got it, and got it. So that's 54 coins, that seems to be everything in this little level. I love this level, this one was fun. 
It's interesting how some of them are really long. Well, not really long, but longer than these ones. But these are like the more fun ones. I, I wish these ones lasted a little longer. Okay, so there's that done. Course clear. And I hope that was a challenge completed. Clears a course using only one shot. Well, I know how to do that, so that shouldn't be too bad, but that is tricky as well. Um, we can do that for sure, though. Uh, what I gotta do is first off, get rid of this guy if I can. So just plop on him. Oh gosh, it didn't quite work the way I wanted it to. Whoop, no, 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 Toad, run. I just wanna get rid of this guy because it would make life easier. Oh, that didn't work, you're such a little stinker. Okay, well I can at least make them retract. All I need to do when it comes to one shot is to hit this. Got it, okay, so now that I've gotten that, we're gonna go ahead and try to get this guy to run away. Perfect, keep him in there. Do the same for this guy. And then for this guy, he doesn't seem like he's too much of a problem. We got it, we got it. Okay, so we took some damage, but we still got the challenge done. With only one shot, we got the star. So, there's that check mark. Let's go in and get that Pixel Toad now. Now the Pixel Toad, I really don't think is gonna be so tough, unless he's really hidden somewhere, but there really isn't too many things you can move. So unless it's just sort of like at a weird perspective where you can only see him through the cannon or something weird like that, I don't think this one's gonna be too bad. But we're gonna find out together, unless he's like down under this way. But even that wouldn't be too much of a challenge. So let's go ahead and sort of zoom through the easy areas, these faces that don't have too much going on with them. And then we can look at some more of the complex stuff. I usually, when I'm trying to look for something, like a where's Walda, right? I try to do things in little chunks. So I don't see anything in this square, not in this square, nothing here. Nothing over here. And I'm using, I'm trying to use a little uh, pointer to guide us all through so we can get through together. I don't see anything in this area. And of course, perspective always matters. We might not see something from one side, but if we look at it from a different angle, we might be able to find them. Now we've seen uh, the little pixel toad behind coins before, so we might wanna go and collect those. But I'm thinking that it might be a good idea to at the least Dodge these guys, go through, and get rid of all these dudes running around because I feel like they're making things complicated. Making it harder to see what I need to see. Got him. Okay. And then maybe even behind that little brick. Oh, there he is! See, that's why it's worth doing, you never know! And he was hiding behind one of those piranha plants, so we got the pixel toad. That was worthwhile. Yeah, okay, so there is turnip cannon jungle done. Now, oh wait, really, that's it? That one was really short. <laughs> Last episode was like an hour long. Onward, Captain Toad. Wow, okay, so we'll, we'll focus on that in the next episode. But as you can see, we've gotten every level done in this chapter. But we do have some extra time, so let's go ahead and try to get this mini game done way back here, the coins galore. Last time we did this, we got 212 coins. I didn't really know what I was doing now. I wanna try the other challenge though. This one is with the little cherries. Let's give it a shot. Oh, I should have gotten some stuff from you. Oh, I'm such a dingus. Okay, let's go ahead and pull this stuff up. I guess I can throw these turnips everywhere. Oh, I get it. Yeah, we're, we're throwing the turnips everywhere so we can hit these big lots of coins. There we go, we got one up. We're at the, we're past 212. Okay, we got 225, our new high score. I didn't even get a mushroom from the uh, blue toad at the beginning because I'm a dingus. All right, brand new score. Cool. So, I don't know if that did anything fancy. But uh, I'm pretty happy about it. That's actually really awesome. We're all done for today's episode. We'll check out the next chapter, which is Onward Captain, Captain Toad in the next episode. But for now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. If you watched the video, make sure you comment Zebra Treasure so now you've watched at the end that you are a Zebra Tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.